Hello and welcome. The historic struggle for Palestine is characterized as the claims and counterclaims of Arabs and Jews. But one often overlooked factor behind the birth of Israel and the Palestinian Nakba, the catastrophe, is the part played by an old imperial power, Britain. Whose interests were best served by the British in Palestine? How did it honor its mandated duty of care? And what were the calculations and miscalculation it made in redrawing the map of Palestine and reshaping its history? To mark the 65th anniversary of Al Nakba, Al Jazeera has been airing a special series on its roots and ramifications. The outbreak of World War I in 1914 created new opportunities to reshape the Middle East. في أمر استراتيجي استعماري. In 1917, the British cabinet, headed by Prime Minister David Lloyd George, pledged to establish a homeland for the Jews in Palestine. At the Paris Peace Conference in 1919, Britain was represented by Prime Minister David Lloyd George and Arthur Balfour. A delegation from the Zionist organization attended, headed by Chaim Weizmann. They presented a map, seen here, proposing the area to be allocated for a Jewish homeland. In 1922, the League of Nations formalized British rule in Palestine. The second clause of the British Mandate document approved by the League of Nations stipulated, the British mandatory shall be responsible for placing the country under political, administrative and economic conditions that will secure the establishment of the Jewish national home. British High Commissioner Herbert Samuel decreed Hebrew as an official language of Palestine alongside Arabic and English. The letters E and Y were added to the word Palestine in Hebrew as an abbreviation of the words Eretz Yisrael, meaning Land of Israel. In the 1930s, the number of Jews immigrating to Palestine began to increase significantly. From 4,000 in 1931, the figure jumped to 9,500 the following year. In 1933, the number rose to 30,000. In 1934, 42,000, and in 1935, a further jump to 62,000. هذه الأراضي عم بتروح، الوعد عم ينفز، غياب أي تفاعل معها من الحكم البريطاني في قمع وفي بطش وفي قوانين رهيبة في الحكم البريطاني. In 1945, following the end of World War II, U.S. President Harry Truman appeared to encourage the Zionist agenda by recommending the 100,000 displaced Jews in Europe be allowed to emigrate to Palestine. In February 1947, Britain announced the decision to end its mandate in Palestine. Its spokesman said his country would turn over the difficult situation to the United Nations. Britain was now washing its hands of Palestine, setting in motion events that would lead towards the momentous year of 1948.